thank you for watching my crochet channel. I have a new um, home crochet project. Um, so today let's uh, make a kitchen towel. Uh, so and I found this cute waffle stitch which is looks just so good on a towel. I think uh, this is quite perfect for this and uh, let's see this towel measures it's about nine inches wide the main part the main color part is 12 inches and then my contrast uh, the top part of the towel is about five inches a little over five inches so the total length is let's see about 17 inches so let's see how we can crochet this nice piece of home decor which makes a great gift as well I'll show you the materials that I used for this towel next and then I'll have the step-by-step -step tutorial uh, for you to uh, make your own towel. And here is what you need to crochet this uh, kitchen towel. I'm using a Baton's Grace uh, yarn. It is 100% uh, cotton. This one is called Fiesta. And this one is called natural and you'll need two balls of the main color and one ball of the contrast color uh, you also need a button um, this one is about one inch wide and um, I'm using two crochet hooks so the main part I'm uh, using 3.25 millimeter hook and to crochet the edges of the towel, I use the finer hook, which is 2.75 millimeters. It just gives a little bit better result, uh, is what I think. But you are welcome to uh, crochet the edge with your main hook. And um, let's get started with the towel. And we start with slip knot and uh, we need to chain 60 Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. and when you're done with 60 chains we will start double crocheting in each chain and we start uh, with the fourth chain from the hook so the first three chains will count as the first double crochet and insert into the fourth and make a double crochet and now just double crochet in each chain across Just one double crochet in each chain. And now uh, when you finish, you will have a total of uh, 58 double crochets on the first row, including that first uh, three chain one. So 58. And the second uh, row, we can start our uh, waffle stitch. So um, chain two turn and now into that next stitch here do a double crochet and another one into the next here and the next one we need to do the front post double crochet so for that go around your hook as you would normally and then now insert hook from front to back and around this 
double crochet post here of this previous round. So I'm going to insert from here, front to back, and back out here, so around this post. Then pull your yarn through, and then just do the regular double crochet. There. Uh, we continue with two double crochets one two the usual ones and the third again front post double crochet so you go around your hook insert a hook through here pull your yarn through and then do your double crochet let's do some more of these two uh, normal double crochets next and again front post find the next double crochet of previous round here insert your hook around the post like this pull your yarn through and two double crochet stitch I'll do some more regular double double crochet regular one and the third front post one again the regular one regular and third is the front post next is regular next regular and third front post And uh, repeat this uh, until the end of this row and now I want to show you how I end this row so I have three more double crochets here so I need to do uh, I just did my front post double crochet I need to do two more regular ones one and two and now I have the last one here, which is the three chains that we started with. And with that one, I'm going to do the last front post. So just like with a, like before, we need to insert our hook around this. Pull our yarn through and do the double crochet. There, finished with round, with row two. And now when you count, you're starting to see these um, little um, textured squares. And when you count, you will have 19 of them. So we're gonna have 19 on each row. And we can continue with uh, row three. Again, chain two and turn and here now this is our wrong side of the towel this one is the right side third row wrong side did two chains and now with the next two double crochets these two here we're gonna do front double crochet around both of them so first one is here and the next one same front post and now the next stitch which is the front post which was front post on the previous round into this one we're going to do a regular double crochet just stitch into it 
and repeat. The next one we want to do uh, front post. Same. Next one. And third, we want to do regular one. So it's just the opposite. Uh, we're going to do front post double crochets into the regular double crochet stitches of previous round and we do the regular double crochet into the front post double crochet of previous round. So let's do some more here. Front post, front post and third regular. So repeat this all across the row here. And the very last stitch, we have to do a regular double crochet and this is going to go into the chain here. We, uh, we did the two chains to start the row and so I'm going to insert hook into the upper chain, so the second chain, to do my last double crochet. And now let's turn back uh, facing the right side. And again, you're starting to see the waffle squares. And let's do a little bit of the next row here. Chain two, double crochet into the next stitch here. Double crochet into the next one as well. And again, the third one, we will do a front post. Again, two regular double crochets and two. And next, front post. Two regular and next one front post. So on this fourth row you're going to see the second row of the waffle squares. Let's see which way is it better to see. So here's my first and here's my second. So now keep repeating these two rows until you have 21 of these square rows. And here I finished those uh, 21 rows of uh, squares. And um, what I do next is I now switched to my finer crochet hook. It's up to you. You can keep the same one. I um, will want to now turn my towel sideways and to one of the edges here. Because I still have my yarn, I'm not cutting it off. I'm going to use it for my edge. So to do that, we need to uh, do single crochet stitches and I do uh, try to do so first one here and then second one here's that hole here and then the third one I'm gonna try to find a space here where this uh, row ends and the other one starts so, so over here so it's basically uh, just finding space um, on these uh, double crochets um, and I try to do three for each row so here's my next so one here one 
here and one here, the middle part. Again, next one here, next here, and then next here. So you'll see how this is going to make the edge of Tango much prettier. So do this all the way down there. And I'm now down to my last three stitches of the edge. I'm going to do the first one here. Second one is going to go into that beginning chain. And the last stitch, I'm actually going to do a slip stitch to make this corner smooth. So just here, somewhere here, the beginning point, do the slip stitch. And now you can cut off the yarn, pass enough cut off, and repeat the other edge the same way. And of course, because we cut off our yarn here, we don't need to work the bottom edge. Uh, for that other edge, you'll need to um, join it here and then just work the same way. Here, I did my second edge. I slip stitched into that uh, beginning chain here and then fasten off and cut my yarn. And into the same stitch, the same chain here is where we want to now join our contrast yarn to crochet the top part of the towel. So here I bring my natural white yarn. We'll do the slip knot. And now, first um, insert hook through that uh, chain stitch here. Then pull through the slip knot. And now chain two. This counts as our first half double crochet. And so uh, the top part Yes, it's going to be half double crochet stitches. The first round, uh, we need to do um, a decrease in every um, three, after every three uh, half double crochet. So here, we did our first, th those two chains count as first double crochet. We're gonna do the next one, second to the next and the third into the next stitch and now we're gonna do two together and how I do this is first yarn over and insert a hook pull through leave it on your hook and now don't yarn over uh, insert a hook straight into the next stitch pull through You'll have four loops on hook and now pull through all of them. This is my two half double crochets together. We're gonna continue with uh, three double half double crochets. One, two, three, and again next going to do two together. So here, start the first one, insert hook through the next stitch, pull through, you'll have four loops on hook and 
pull through them. Again, two, three half double crochets. One, two, three, and now two together. Yarn over, insert hook, pull through. Now insert hook into the next one, pull through, and four loops, pull through all of them. So keep doing this till the end of this row and um, I'm almost finished with this row I have two more half double crochets to do uh, I'll do them first one here and first one here and this is where I stop this round this row and I have total of 46 stitches So you can double check and count these and next rows we now are going to decrease in the beginning and end of each row not the middle anymore for that we chain one and turn and our first decrease and also um, I want to show how uh, I do these half double crochets inserting hook underneath all of these loops and into this space between my two stitches not in here I don't leave this one but underneath below all of these loops so here I did my chain and now two half double crochets together just like on the previous row i start my first keep loops on hook now i don't yarn over i just insert hook through the next one i have four loops now and pull through them and the rest of the stitches we're gonna just do regular half double crochets and always inserting hook through here so now to this until the end of row and we can do the end of row decrease then so I'm at the end now I have two more spaces here to work my two half double crochet stitch together so first one here and second one here so uh, like before we're gonna start the first half double crochet insert my hook to my next space and then I don't yarn over I'll just insert hook into that last space and pull through all four loops that's our end of row decrease and we now chain one turn and again start the next row with the decrease so let's do this one here the next space insert hook then insert into the next and pull through all four loops and keep doing the half double crochets across the rest of the row until you have two last spaces left to work in and again to two half double crochet together so now uh, repeat this uh, row with decrease at the end and beginning and until you have 14 half double crochets left and I just wanted to show you one more time how I ended the row with uh, two half double crochets stitched together. So here, um, yarn over, insert hook into the next space, pull through, don't yarn over and find the last space to insert hook, pull through and now pull through all four. 
and interestingly enough I um, end up with odd number of stitches so here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and this is okay I'm gonna leave it as as it is 13 is fine for this uh, and so now from here we can do the handle uh, so we are just going to a half double crochet in each stitch no increases no decreases so first is two chains and now a half double crochet in each space here and just keep doing this we have same number of stitches either you ended up with 14 or I did with 13 and to give you the row count um, I did 17 rows here the decreasing decreasing rows and the uh, third my 13 stitches even also 17 rows and I just wanted to show you here's my last 17th row so I start each one with one chain I half double crochet into that next and each across And I always also have double crochet into this last space here, which is between that chain and first half double crochet. That's how I get it even. And now we have a few more rows uh, to decrease to finish the handle. So we're going to do the same chain one, turn half double crochet two together to decrease here then uh, half double crochet in each space until you have two spaces left at the end and then again to two together so first start that then insert into the last space pull your pull through all loops again after my first row of decreases I now have 11 on this row and the next row I want to do the buttonhole so chain one I'm still going to um, decrease so two two half double crochets together here and two more half double crochets now chain three and skip three half double crochets one two three and stitch into the next one half double crochet also into the next and the last two spaces I can do my decrease two together and next row I will not decrease I will just uh, half double crochet in each first second then um, the in the chain space I'm gonna do three 
half double crochets two three and now three more on the other side and looks like we have two more rows to decrease so let's see decrease first one one two three four decrease the last one and back to even numbers one two three four five six and I'm going to do one more row decrease one two half double crochet here and last two spaces decrease two together okay so here's my handle with a buttonhole I am not going to fasten off because I'm going to use this loop and uh, yarn again to crochet the edge. I can do this side all the way to the main part and then I cut off and then I'll have to join here to do the other side here. And again I switch to my finer hook and I'm gonna just work this side and there is no really like a stitch count or rule here. I just want to find space and just try to do it e as evenly as possible and just single stitch across the edge sometimes I have to adjust my work uh, when I see it gets tight I do it over I add more stitches but at the same time, I want it to be somewhat tight to uh, keep this edge. And I'm almost done with this edge here. Just wanted to show you my last two stitches. I'm going to do my last single crochet into this space and I'm going to now slip stitch in the beginning space there it's gonna look nice and even and uh, now fasten off cut off the yarn to do the second edge so here is this edge and now for the second edge, I'm going to join the yarn here. So we'll do the slip knot. And I'm going to insert my hook through this beginning chain here. That was the first chain we started with insert through the loop and pull it through and now do your stitch and start single crocheting across the edge 
and it's definitely see it can be tricky uh, it's for me it's helpful to use this finer hook to get through some of these holes and find the best uh, place to do my edge stitch. So keep doing this. And I reached uh, all the way to the top with my edge stitches. And here I actually wanted uh, just single crochet in each top uh, stitch as well because I want to add a little bit more to uh, this handle. And when I'm done with all the stitches, last thing, just slip stitch to make the edge smooth. And now we're gonna fasten off and cut off the yarn for the last time. So then you can fold your handle and uh, find the best place to sew your button. And uh, it would it's helpful to just uh, try it on your um, oven handle or wh wherever you want to hang this towel. Uh, what's the best length here to put that to put that button? So with the button on. So it's gonna go here. So you can reach over the handle and fasten with your button. And here is my finished uh, kitchen towel. So I um, sewed on the button and weaved in all the ends. And it's ready to be used in the kitchen. I think it would make a great um, home warming gift as well. And there are so many uh, color choices to choose from. I just like this uh, waffle pattern. I think it's uh, so fitting in the kitchen. And um, I will post a written pattern on my website. And uh, let me know if you have any questions or feedback. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. I have many more projects to come and happy crocheting.